Welcome back, my adoring public, to more Extreme Odyssey Nexus. Feral Fiasco here. Ah, have you collected my materials? Yeah, let's hand them the materials. Thank you so much. I had no doubt that you'd pull it off. With this natural brilliant red, I'll be able to assemble a dress that might be gaudy, but will still have some semblance of dignity. Thank you again for your hard work. As usual, Kavasir has your award ready for you to collect. Yes. We can report this in order to free up space. Good work. How many requests does that make now? I certainly hope it's the last one. I could see that bright red color all the way from here. I'd call it passionate, but it looks more gaudy than anything. I'm impressed he'll be able to turn that into something classy. It's all thanks to your hard work gathering those materials. You know what you deserve? A reward. The nectars are fine. The XP is finer. But uh, yes, we've got ourselves a date with some dragons. Dress for more success, no. A red dragon, okay, so that's it. Yes, that one. They're specifically requesting your guild for this one. Remember when all those wyverns were running amok? Someone spotted the wyverns gathering in a particular location on the Isle of Solitude. HQ thought that was suspicious, so they sent some soldiers over there to investigate. There, they found a huge group of wyverns, all seemingly following orders from a huge red dragon. The Great Dragon. HQ thinks it could be a serious threat, so they've put in a request for you to defeat the Great Dragon. I'm sure you guys will be fine. Good luck, dragon slaying. We will, uh... But before we get to slaying dragons... Well, I guess first we can tell her the good news that we've completely mapped out well for a certain definition of completely but we've certainly mapped it out to a uh, persephone's satisfaction but yes next things next is going to be the preparation as you leave Maginia, you are approached by a group of soldiers you're the guild who accepted the request to defeat the red dragon correct the soldier points to the location of the dragon's nest and marks it on your map the area is surprisingly close to your current location yeah, that's where that one is. When you are ready, head to the marked location and fight the legendary dragon. Not gonna do that just yet, though. Alrighty, from here, we've got our Volt Charms, our Volt Mists, and we've got our new levels. Uh, Salem, as you can see, we actually haven't invested into anything new in quite a while. Raise one line's elemental defense for three turns. Uh, sure. And it still stays at... Well, she can spare the... She can spare it. Blood fortune. Bind ailment success rate for three turns. Uh... Is there anything... Else that we want to invest in? The answer is not really. We've basically hit a wall with Highlands Earth. There's nothing else that really adds to our strategy. And for Gunner, there's nothing else that she can use. Well, she can use Pop Flare. For three turns, the party's hit rate increases. Penetrator, I guess, on the off chance that we ever use that. Or that ever even comes up. Charge shot, which she can't make use of at the start of the battle. Not useful. May stun. It says support skill, but it doesn't necessarily specify the use of a gun. Hmm. There's. Yeah, but these these last eight, basically, because the Legion, I just don't use the Legion skills. Maybe if we have more people on the front line, but nah. All right. So I think we're in the same situation with her. Yeah. After striking an enemy's weakness. Attack bonus up, up, but that TP cost is outrageous. Raises user's force gauge. Uh, the force, force edge isn't super useful to us. Attack up, up. Mm. 
Uh, I don't know, dude. I don't know about putting that last point into it. That additional 15 TP could be killer. Trip Edge. Blood Edge. Hmm. We already don't really do anything with her here. I guess we can use get Penetrator on her. But just like before, that's basically it. Monet is basically completely specked out. Hmm. We can get the rest for physical attack up. Rest of multi-shot. Ricochet. Uh, ricochet, probably to all enemies at random. We can put five points into it. So we can get it to be two to six attacks? Eh. What else do we want? For party whenever user slays an enemy. Turning Tide could be kind of nice. Sure, let's invest into that. And raise one line's elemental defense. Nah. We'll use her other two skill points for... Hmm. I guess there's no problem with at least learning Ricochet. I don't... It's probably not gonna summon any help. So we're fine with that. Deja vu. Chase heal probably... We have 13 points. Max 3 activations. Max 4 activations. TP cost 20. Sure, let's max out chase heal. Heal all. Uh... Is there anything interesting in Arcanist we want to do? When the effect of a user circle wears off, restores TP. Sure. And Nerve Circle with the final two. Finally, 20 points for him. Uh, we've got Absorber after striking an enemy's weakness. We don't really strike... Well, striking weaknesses is a lot less ubiquitous the way we use him. Uh, maybe we want to... Sure, let's max out Etheric Gleam. Yeah, why not? When attacking an enemy's elemental weakness. For the rest of these. Put that last point in Horoscope. Lowers TP cost for a row of allies this turn. Uh, we could do Binary Ice. Get that up to level 9. Binary Thunder was what the Blizzard King was weak against, so we're not worried about that. Let's do those for Fire Prophecy. And then Volt Prophecy. Okay. So that is basically it. In the interest of not having to do that again, though. Whoa. You confirm the sighting of a Blizzard King. Challenge it. That's interesting, but not what we're here to do. We're here to try to get back to the thing. What? Why the heck? Wow. This is dumb. Okay, there we go. Konnichiwa. Ah, you're from the Luna Soul Guild. I've been waiting for you. These parts of an uh, these parts of an Ankh that you collected should be the key to this stone monument. However, we have absolutely no idea what this stone monument does, which is why we hired you as our escort. Now, we're going to go ahead and place this Ankh into the monument. Are you ready? Yeah, let's be ready. Well, here it goes. When the soldier places the Ankh into the stone monument, they both begin to glow. 
A bolt of lightning suddenly shoots from the monument into the sky above, splitting the cloud cover in two. What is that? From the divide high in the clouds, a massive yellow dragon appears. With a fierce roar, it begins to fly right at you. What a nightmare! Why is this happening? If that gets anywhere near Meganea, it'll be a catastrophe! Luna Soul Guild, is there any chance that you could possibly defeat it? Otherwise, Meganea will... You've come to this... Uh, you've come this far. This is to protect Meganea. You gaze up at the incoming yellow dragon. Considering how it was just unsealed, perhaps it's not at its full power yet. If you're going to challenge it, now's the time. Steal yourself and take on the Storm Emperor. Okay. Whew, Storm Emperor has appeared. Let's do our usual bloody offense. Trip Edge. Um, we'll have her throw out the Volt Mist. He will throw out the Analysis Scope. And he'll get started on the Multi-Strike Ether. Registered. Missed it up. Volt Breath, yep. None of that. And we got the Double Bloodlust proc, so that's always nice. Hmm. Next thing's next, we're going to have Salem drop a... Raise one line's elemental defense for three turns. Now, nah, we'll drop a delayed charge here. Charge edge. Try a leg snipe. No, this thing can't even uh, this thing can't even be leg sniped, or it's difficult to get the leg snipe to land. This ancient deadly beast wields the power of lightning, making it a most terrible foe. Um, we'll have Reese throw out a Soma. We're probably going to regret under healing. We maxed out uh, Etheric Gleam and I didn't even open with that, but it's all good. Let us... Meteor. Judgment. Alright. Not what we wanted to see specifically. The Charge Edge still went off? Oh man, we've got to go for it now. At least Salem will be able to heal everybody with this cross charge. Axel Drive. Double action to try for the leg snipe. Go ahead and unbind her. And right back into his combo. Monet can't move. Dang. The seal. Oh, I used unbind instead of refresh. Oh my gosh. Oh well. Just one additional turn we gotta spend on that. Delayed charge. We don't have charge edge up anymore, so we gotta try that again. Leg snipe. This time we're going to use the correct skill. Well, he can drop the meteor. Still can't move due to paralysis. Wow. Yet again. Can we get it at all? Nope. Okay. We're going to... Well, first, I'm going to blink. Then we're going to cross charge. Yeah, we've only got one more turn of bloody offense, even. Be real nice if we could get her to actually be able to use her skill at some point. One etheric gleam on the back line. We could drop so much damage if only Monet weren't paralyzed. Okay, so we're starting the combo back up again. Got the leg seal too. Perfect. Core began to shine. Alright, Salem, you know what to do. One draining burst. Then we're going to charge edge. Shield, bloody offense. Reese. Yeah, let's drop a line heal for them. And we'll actually have him pound away with a binary fire. See if we can get some damage off that way. 
All right. Legs have been sealed. So I can't judgment or whatever it was about to do. Physical and elemental defense increases. Nope. We're going to have Reese counteract that. Draining burst. And then Axel drive on the main body. What about a scatter shot? Okay, atrophic eye and another binary fire. There we go. Defeated the golden heart. Still got the leg seal. Okay, not nearly as impressive, but it's still fine. Salem can now go back to delayed charging. Uh, she's gonna have to... Yeah, let's sharp edge. See if we can charge shot. Maybe we'll get lucky there. Uh, let's have him... For five turns, increase his elemental attack of a line. See if we can set him up for some future damage here. Soul Strike. And that healed up 1600 HP. And she just dealt basically 1400, but the multi-shot proc cannot be understated as far as how useful it was right there. Another cross charge. Uh, we'll do an impulse edge, especially since we can still get it. Heal all, and yeah, right back into multi-strike ether. Alright, that was an okay-ish amount of... Only 900 because it missed one. Completely okay with that. Hmm. Salem, probably. Core began to shine again. We've got still a single turn of bloody offense. One draining burst. Massive edge targeting the main body. How's about a scatter shot? Line heal for the people out front. And meteor. Keep them nice and alive the way we like them. Yeah, we have no defense against that. Definitely did not throw up another Volt Mist like I should have. The Golden Heart dodged the attack. Hmm. With its stats up, it's gonna make it more obnoxious. Scattershot? Okay. Heal all. And... We don't have the time to queue up the friggin' thing. Soul Strike. 1610. Not what we want to see. Someone else is gonna have to do some healing, because Reese. Yeah. One. Bloody offense. Into a. Trip Edge. We'll have her drop a Medica 4 because Reese is going to need to Atrophic Eye. And we still have plenty of turns of Etheric Gleam. Multi Strike Aetherus, dude. Binding Dance. Definitely don't like to see that. But at the very least, uh, actually. Which one is that? Is that the head seal? No. Arm seal. Hmm. We could just have Reese unbind. Yeah, one charge edge. Charged shot. And... Yeah, let's go ahead and have him unbind. It was definitely not... The greatest use of intensive care you'll ever see in your life, but... Binding Dance again. Oh, crap. The Arm Seal, yeah, on Monet. Very inopportune, that. We're gonna have her... Okay, we still have three turns of bloody offense. 
One delayed charge coming right at you. Uh, she's going to have to drop Thiriaka Alpha on herself. Reese can unbind them, even though it's going to be pretty slow. Were we supposed to face this thing before we faced off against the... Uh... Well, I'm probably going to regret saying it, but... It feels like this is easier than the Blizzard King. Core began to shine yet again. So we got another turn of that. Yeah. One cross charge for the main body. Go ahead and massive edge. Main body. Astra probably won't be able to get the scatter shot off, which is fine. One Soma Prime, just what the doctor ordered. And now we can force Meteor. Okay, yeah, Astra can't move due to paralysis. It's all good. Bring everybody back up to snuff. Eat that Voltex for friggin' breakfast. Miss quite a lot. Dang. We will have... Well, Salem's got to Draining Burst. We'll have her do the massive edge. Astra's gonna try scatter shotting. Atrophic Eye. And... Yeah, we'll... Again, drop a combo in order to be able to Soma Prime here. Okay, so we got the Golden Heart. 1855. Dang, dude. Hmm. Reese is going to be able to do that on his next turn, though, so it's all good. Uh, first things first. We got... Bloody Offense. Or let's, uh... Let's delayed charge on the off chance that we might be able to pull this off. Then a charge edge. Have them bloody offense. Reese is gonna throw out the Soma Prime. And Baron will actually draw his Astro Sign here. Yeah, couldn't do it. Judgment again. So, Charge Edge was nice. Hmm. But we have to bloody offense. Into an Axel Drive. She will also bloody offense, just in case Salem's does not come to pass. Reese will refresh, and Baron will desperately try to... Thiriaka Beta himself. Salem can't move due to Paralysis, which is okay. That is much less okay. Just heal 3k out of friggin' nowhere. Alright, Hero Battle into that all-important Cross Charge. Then she is gonna double action a Head Snipe, I guess? We haven't really tried going for the Head Snipe. Revive Monet. So we just... Luckily, Salem was able to just undo... Wow. And the core began to shine again. Alright, so she is going to... Unbind herself... With Etheriaka Alpha. Astra will try... A scatter shot. While Reese also uses a Thiriaka Alpha on himself. Binding Dance again. At least it was only the legs. Missed. Physical and elemental defense increased. So, even though it's not what we wanted, both of them together should be able to put an end to the Storm Emperor. I don't think it's going to be able to survive this turn. Yeah, we got it. Okay, well that was fine. Storm Emperor, Emperor Scale. 
By using every last ounce of your strength, you have defeated the Storm Emperor. The body of the falling dragon begins to gleam with a brilliant light, then turns into countless shimmering golden particles. The points of light grow brighter as they collect into a sphere-like arrangement, then condense and even smaller into a round jewel. When you grasp the golden jewel, you suddenly feel a powerful force run through your body, allowing you to surpass your current limits. Okay, level 119, which should be more than enough to take on Skilla. We're gonna report this to Kavasir. Uh, yeah, it should be fine even though they're, uh, even though they're dead. Hey, I heard the whole story! Those soldiers summon up quite the powerful beast! A yellow dragon, the Storm Emperor, was it? I can't believe something like that was sealed away. People back in that ancient civilization must have really had it rough. And I can't believe you defeated it! Who even are you guys, seriously? Luna Soul Guild? Well, that's true. I've got nothing else to say. You're totally fine with that? <laughs> Here's your award. Alright. Not enough to get anybody up to the next tier of levels, but uh, we're going to take full advantage of this, hit level 119, and then go about killing Skilla. Forgot to sell that uh, Emperor Scale. Storm Charm. Uh, another item that would have been way more useful before now. Now, we get to see what 20 additional levels of power does for us. It doesn't do anything on these two. I don't believe it does anything on her. I guess we could teach her Spirit Shield if we really wanted to. Raise Bind Ailment Success Rate. Okay, it doesn't do anything for her. Reese, it... I guess we could put a, an additional point, uh, some additional points in the heal all, just to make it respectable. Bind the legs of all enemies. Up his bind ailment chance. Hmm. Restores users TP. Still not super useful that, but I guess it's better than having zero use. And then Baron. We'll teach him... There's not really anything on Baron we want to teach, either. Might as well, I mean, there's not really anything else we can take on these, so... Alright, now it is time. This time, we're actually going to get that win. After getting blown out the first uh, couple of tries. Start off with a trip edge. Um, we'll have her open up with a double action. Head snipe. One. Oh, I neglected to bring it. Oh, dang, that sucks. I thought I had. Hmm. Well, I guess in that case, we can have him atrophic eye. Okay. An etheric gleam. We're not going to drop the first step of the combo this time. Atrophic eye. Head snipe. Cry soul. Dang. As ridiculous as ever. We were able to immediately bring her back, but... Oh well. Okay, so let's do... Delayed charge. Charge edge. Like snipe. Try to slow her down a bit. Charm eye. And now, multi-strike ether. Ice shave. Cool. Our front line can eat that attack for breakfast now. No. Still nothing there. So we just need Monet to not miss with the Axel Edge. One hero battle into cross charge coming right up. Axel Drive. Let's do Faint Shot. Nerve Circle because she's got us covered on the damage front. Divination. 
and Meteor. Much better. Much better. It's gonna take, uh, from here it's gonna take Meteor in order to really... Yep, finish that thing off for us. Cool. Yeah, Nerf Circle is kind of a long shot. It's mostly there for the tentacles. Salem, once more you've got the job of delayed charging. Uh, she'll sharp edge. Do I dare? We dare. One. Well, let's line heal because it's gonna hurt her regardless when she uses her skill. Yeah. See? Gotta bring him right back up. I shave. So it was a good move having Astra go for the charged shot. Yeah, the nerve circle's not doing much. Um, sure, let's keep the, let's have him actually double atrophic eye. One cross charge into a massive edge. Paint shot, atrophic eye, and meteor. If only, if only that were tar a multi-target. If uh, if that tentacle were behind Skilla, then we might have been able to get it with Penetrator, but that's a pretty big might. Nice, the double proc. All right, and that's Nerve Circle completely worn off. Uh, we will bloody offense a second time. Let's do Impulse Edge. Charge Shot because we don't care about Astra's life. Another Charm Eye. We still have one turn left of Etheric Gleam, so we're gonna Etheric Gleam once more. Okay. There we go. I'm surprised that happened so quickly. Cry Soul. Crap. No revive type. Uh, no auto revive at all. It's okay though. We'll do. We can charge edge, but not anything else? Hmm. Another trip edge. Try that out. And he is going to revive Salem. Yeah, Ice Shave as an attack is not anything we're worried about. Yeah, another tentacle. That's fine, though. Salem. Give the, the Draining Thrust, and she will actually Impulse Edge. One Faint Shot. Baron is going to have to wait just one additional turn. We do want to get him back ASAP though, just to give, just to give Christ Soul that one additional target. Yeah, see that's a lot less dangerous for us now too. Um, I think our HP totals are okay-ish enough. We don't have, we don't really have an opening. Faint shot. And let's revive. And the hopes that Baron will not immediately die. Ruin Creeper got its attack in. Okay, cool. I think it is about that time for Reese to hit his intensive care. More tentacles appearing from the ground. Baron is going to be able to get in on that with a regular attack, though. We want a bloody offense into a charge edge. Have her, double action, faint shot. The intensive care heal all, which is gonna be much stronger. And uh, let's, let's do the etheric gleam. Yeah, see, that's much better. Alright, so we're going to have more to deal with. 
The multi shot proc on the double action. Piercing shell. Nice! Good stuff, Salem! So with the charge edge now, red, uh, good and ready. Another tentacle appeared from the ground. She's actually going to delay charge to help out with the axle drive. Another faint shot. Um, he doesn't really have anything to do, so let's delay heal. Multi-strike ether. Basically, the only person who's going to be putting any uh, putting in any work this turn is Salem or Astra, rather. Lullaby. Okay, awesome. So we've got Skilla down to range. We'll be, uh, we will be cross charging, and then continually sharp edging. Uh, let's have her drop the riot gun. And we'll use his final turn for another atrophic eye. Into Meteor. There we go. We got the atrophic eye off before Salem did the cross charge. And then Baron with a nice showing there. We just need Salem to get a couple of more turns in. Uh, let's have her heat sink. More charged shots are in order here. Line heal and multi strike ether. Uh, one cry soul could really screw us if we get super unlucky with a cry soul. All Reese has to do is keep him alive. What are our, uh... Okay, we still have one last turn of bloody offense. Cross charge. Uh, let's massive... Massive edge. Charge shot. Line heal. And then... We got him ready. I think this is gonna be the tur uh, last turn. Yep, got him. Defeated Skilla. Alright. Way better. Way better. Ice Queen's Vine. So we've got her taken care of now. We can leave this place with our head held high and see what sort of drop we can get from that. But man. Most definitely made us work for it. Well, significantly less so with the additional 20 levels. Can't lie about that. But I feel like we put in our blood, our uh, do blood, sweat, and tears for Skilla. I was about to walk right past the exit. Go ahead and sell this to Napier. Hopefully we get something really nice. Bikini armor. Alright. It's not good for her. It's actually not good for anyone. Oh, fire ice volt resist up. But look how drastically it drops our defense. Yeah. I don't think it's worth. She can't even equip it. With that, we are ready for the final one. Draconic Grassland. Whew. When you reach the field, you notice the group of wyverns surrounding the red dragon. It is both terrifying and awesome. The name Great Dragon is well suited. Yes. Okay, this friggin' thing. See what we got. Bloody offense into trip edge. Double action. I didn't even bother bringing any fire mists. We're just going to try the immediate charged shot. I also did not bring. Wow. I also didn't bring any analysis scopes. So let's open up with a charm eye to make sure that we don't get snatched too quickly. Echoing Howl. Offense decreased, and it panics us. So we might have to bring anti-panic items instead of uh, what we've got. Hmm. It's actually taking a fairly decent amount of damage there. Next, we can delete charge. 
into a charge edge. Uh, we want to make sure that Monet can hit her attacks, so a faint shot just to set her up. There we go. Go ahead and drop your evade really quickly. Red Fang. Dang, the leg seal. Not fun. But at least we'll be able to get healed. One hero battle. Cross charge. Axel drive. Have her risk a charge shot. Oh, check it out. Reese is back. Atrophic Eye again. Actually, let's have him unbind the back line so that he can move a bit more quickly. Divination into Meteor. Nice healing. Okay, 5,500 damage or so. Wow, instantly dead. That's always fun. 8k. Reese is going to need to unbind himself before he can help anybody else. And then we'll have Baron. Yeah, let's have Baron go for... We'll probably regret it. Yeah, let's play smart, even if we have to drop a turn of, uh... A turn of divination. One Soma Prime. Yeah. Okay. So we should be back in action from here. Does that Sharp Edge using it twice that they drop her thing by two? Maybe? Cross charge again? No. But we can Cool Edge. Have him revive. And Baron will be able to just... What was it? Um, volt. Fire. So, ice. Bring us right back to where we should be. Fire Torrent. Holy crap, maybe not bringing any anti-fire stuff except for the items we're wearing was a bad idea. Core began to shine. Don't want any of that. We're gonna have to do it without any sort of um, assistance to our thing. Uh, sure, let's charge edge. Yeah. He is going to... Line heal and a binary ice. Okay, so the line heal wasn't strictly needed. Hmm. Only 2,500. Not too shabby. Or uh, definitely pretty shabby, we should say. One draining burst. We're not bloody offensed. Which is fine. For now, heal all everybody, and we'll have Baron. Yeah, we want to make sure that whatever it's about to do doesn't get done. Nope, not enough. Wow, the panic. And we missed. It is... A little way too early for this. Yeah, we'll actually have Reese just revive Astra. At least Salem attack a good target. There goes the Crimson Heart. Still not great though. How about a charge edge to try picking this back up where it needs to be? Faint shot. Revive her. There. She missed even with the faint shot up, dude. That is bad. Wow! 
That accuracy, dude. That non-existent accuracy. Bloody offense. Now we have to take the thing from the top. Uh, we'll actually have her... Soma... Well, he... Soma Primes. Yeah. Draconic Fury. Okay, greatly increases its physical attack. So we know what Reese is going to be doing on his next turn. Alright, one. Delayed Charge. Charge Edge. Let's like, try getting the Leg Snipe. Okay, we gotta dissipate that. And a new Etheric Gleam. There we go. Beneficial effect is dissipated. Even though we'd like to have Reese do it a second time, our front line needs healing. Needs healing very badly. Axel Drive. She's not bloody offensed. We can remedy that. One line heal coming right at ya. And... Well, we can afford to spend a turn waiting, so... We only need a Soma from him. Cool. 6k damage right there. Another Draconic Fury. 10,000! 20,000! Alright, well, we can't lose now. Hmm. An easy peasy 20k damage right there. How about a heat sink? And we can give a Bless Her Within Emrita 2. One Charm Eye. And now we can multi-strike Ether. Beneficial effect has dissipated. And Reese is, of course, panicked. Hmm. Gonna have to undo the panic on Reese. We can have Monet use her turn for that. Let's go with the Theriaka Beta. And in lieu of Reese being able to do anything. Alright. A little over 4,000. Crap, the Dragon Claw. I'm friggin' real. One draining thrust. She will just regularly attack its main body. How's about a... Well, we'll have her actually uh, Theriaka Beta Baron so that Reese is free to line heal. That wasn't a lot of damage at all. Fire Torrent again. Yeah, our front line will always take way more damage because they don't they don't heal any of that stuff at all. They don't, they don't stop any of that whatsoever. Okay, Draconic Fury's worn off, which is nice. We definitely want her to Draining Thrust. She will... Nectar 2 Astra. While he drops the Soma... Our last Soma Prime. Oh, Multi-Shot! That's fine. Red Fang. Ooh. The Leg Seal. If Reese... Okay. We actually can't wait. Hero Battle. Into Draining. Thrust. What's... She's Arm Bound. Which means she can't even do her thing. 
Uh, we'll actually have her use a Soma then. Let's have her faint shot. And then Reese will revive. Actually, no. This should it should do enough damage that we don't need her to. So one nectar two. She'll faint shot. And then we can have Reese actually charm eye. Draconic Fury. So we picked a very good time to do that. Beneficial effect is dissipated. We want at least one turn of her combo though, so delayed charge into our regular attack, I guess. Charge shot, another charm eye, multi strike ether. Echoing howl. And then Reese got panicked yet again. Oh well, at least it wasn't an attack on Astra or something ridiculous. And they're both back in action. We got ourselves a choice to make here. Yeah, let's cross charge. We'll be able to start trying to pick back up our damage here. Trip Edge. Bloody Offense, the front line. Another Charm Eye. Meteor. Okay, it's not, it's not a whole lot. Better than nothing though. Ailment is dissipated. It's fine. That was a really good one. Hmm. All right, Salem. She is going to Axela herself. We've got ourselves a charge edge we need to do. How many more turns of... Okay, only one more turn of faint shot, so let's do that. Another charm eye. Multi-strike ether. What are you gonna do to us? Fire torrent. Luckily, we charm eyed. I think right now is a very good time Core began to shine. Yeah, let's draining thrust into an Axel drive. Faint shot. Have him heal all. And then Meteor. Okay, the Bloodlust, exactly where we wanted it to go. Dang! Oh well. If nothing else, we are going to be able to... ...heal them next turn with Reese. Another Draining Thrust. This time, we just gotta keep massive edging. And how about a refresh for these guys? Bring them right back into the fold. Dragon Smash. It actually is not anything impressive. 2,500. It's almost completely undone all of the damage that Monet just did. It's basically like she only hit it for 700 at this point. Training Thrust. Let's do... Raises user's elemental attack until the end of next turn. But by element, it means physical and elemental elements. Astra will risk a charged shot just to put some more damage on the board. And we want a multi strike ether from Baron. Come on, dude. Can you beat this thing? There we go. That's the Crimson Heart done. Reese is. Oh, Charm Eyes effect wore off. Okay. Uh. One delayed charge. Cool edge. We'll have her Medica for herself. Reese will charm eye. And then he'll force Meteor. 
Because she's gonna get her, um... She's gonna get her Force Break back next turn. So, definitely, Baron is doing the work. Faint Shot's effect is worn off. Not worried about that too much. No bloody offense, though. Gotta fix that. She'll be able to Heat Sink. Alright, double action. Let's try to get a Leg Snipe. Line heal, but will that be for the best, though? Uh, nah, we'll probably get more out of Baron doing things this way. So, yet another multi-strike ether. Fire torrent again. Whew! No one died, though. That's what we want to see. Dang! Core began to shine. Alright, uh... She will cross-charge. She's gonna have to... To... Thiriaka Alpha herself. We'll actually have her Riot Gun. So that Reese ha uh, can... Um, heal all for free. And let's... Hope we don't strike out with this Meteor. Great Dragon is stunned. Crap. This thing's healed so much HP by this point. It's okay though. Uh, soon. Delayed charge. Again. We'll have her... Massive Edge. Astra is going to say, screw everything else and charge shot that thing. Let's line heal. And binary ice. Gotta keep those two alive. One Dragon Claw. That is the arm seal though. We don't want to see that. We've got enough time for her to undo it. One Thiriaka Alpha. Into a... Hmm. She's going to have to charge Edge. Be... Hamal Primed. Or Emrita Tude. Reese is going to Line Heal. Baron will multi-strike Ether. Dragon Smash. Whoa! Baron was super killed. He was the um he was the person least integral to what we were getting set up though. Cross charge. Uh we can actually have her. She is bloody offense. Only one single turn left of it though. Ghastly March. Um, we'll have her actually re-up their bloody offense while Reese. Let's have him heal or no. We're we're gonna get it. So charm eye. Or actually. Yeah, let's charm eye. Could probably do a little bit more with an atrophic eye, but it's all good. Dragon Smash. Haven't killed our frontliners yet, so it's all good. Because this turn, Core began to shine. Nope, we've got something for that. Guy Bulg, which should be the clincher here. Massive Edge, Rapid Fire, Line Heal, uh, and I guess we'll just have him Binary Ice. Okay, got the Great Dragon. We honestly had the most trouble with the Blizzard King, if I do say so myself. Great Dragon, Dragon Scale. You finally struck the killing blow on the Great Dragon. When the Red Dragon gives out a final death cry, its huge crimson body blazes into a fiery whirl, or fire whirl, 
burning and spinning in midair. The embers slowly condense, growing smaller until they become a sphere-shaped jewel right before your eyes. When you grasp the red jewel, you suddenly feel a powerful force run through your body, allowing you to surpass your current limits. 130. Okay. Definitely don't want to lose that. Alright. Kavasir, give us the good news, dude. Good work out there! You guys sure are incredible! That was the legendary great dragon that you defeated, right? <laughs> Defeating a monster with such a grand name means you must uh, must mean you've achieved legendary status yourselves. Everyone is so glad you took care of this one. Hell, I can't even make any jokes about it. Right then, here's your reward. It might not be much for a guild as legendary as yours, but I hope you'll cut me some slack. Oh, dude, the XP is all the reward we need. We'll be able to get those 10 levels, no problem. Definitely want to sell this to Napier, see what she's got. Dragon Bane and Great Fire Charm. Too bad the Dragon Bane's not anything anyone on the team particularly wants. All status up. Oh well. Oh, the Dragon Bane takes one of all three. Hmm. Still not what we're anything we're specifically able to make use of. The only thing that's really left is the Juggernaut, which we should be able to knock the crap out of. But uh, we will most definitely not be taking the Juggernaut on this episode. I think we're going to save that for next episode. So definitely join me then, guys, for more Etrian Odyssey Nexus. Bye for now. Never see it come back